This is the book now in the hands of second through fifth graders across the area. Dream Big focuses on a young girl's goal of one day becoming a lady topper and Coach Cal's support of that dream. Just very honored to be able to just be a part of something like this that really reaches out and touches so many children in, in the whole idea of literacy and helping promote that idea and helping promote um, the, the cause of trying to help children learn to read. When athletic director Wood Selig announced the NCAA grant last May, Coach Cowles was eager to lend her likeness to the book, but left the storytelling and illustration to the professionals. I'm not an author and I'm not an artist, so I'm going to trust the hands that are at work with, with those particular projects. Now, six months later, what does she think of the finished product? I was very tickled with the book and was even probably more excited when my three brought it home. And, thought how neat it was and, and that really excited them. Dream Big is exciting kids across South Central Kentucky. Cal spoke to students at Chandler's Elementary School in Logan County before giving each of them their own copy along with season tickets to Lady Topper Games. And we've tried to tie in the importance of practicing and reading just like we practice to be better basketball players. And the more you practice, then the better you'll be. It's not a punishment, it's a privilege. And I think basketball is that too because you learn a lot from both the things. Cal's was a fifth grader just like the character in the book when she first picked up a basketball and started to dream big. It talks about things that are truly important to me and it talks about just the whole idea of having that big dream and setting those goals and, and figuring out a way and a plan of action to go forward to make those dreams come true. The visit to Logan County was part of the Southern Kentucky Book Fest Fall into Books program. Coach Cowles plans to visit other schools to promote literacy in the weeks ahead. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.